Hi guys, thank you for joining me. The Canary Islands, there on the island of La Palma, has had 64 earthquakes in less than 24 hours, the largest being a magnitude 2.8, 9 kilometers in depth. Most of these earthquakes have been within the last maybe 3 to 4 hours. Uh, you can see 10 kilometers, 10 kilometers, um, 12, 11, 9, uh, 10, and the list goes on and on. I mean, look at that. The very first one, I would say, was the deepest, was probably this magnitude 1.8 off the coast there of La Palma. Uh, last year, there was an earthquake swarm, and this was the location of the start of that swarm. But what is very concerning, uh, not to mention just the uh, landslide that could happen, but we could have an eruption. Cumbe Vieja, sorry for pronouncing that wrong. It is evidently overdue for a major eruption. Uh, the translation of its name is Old Summit. Uh, it has erupted twice in the last 70 years in 1949 and then in 1971. There has been smaller eruptions off on the side that I tracked here. Uh, this location in 1585. This is the uh, uh, 1646 eruption. Many worry that if there is an eruption on Cumbre Veje or Veja, uh, the western flank of the mountain could tumble into the sea. One of the scientists in a research paper detailed how the buildup of groundwater could destabilize a block of rock up to 500 cubic uh, meters in size, which could break off, smash into the sea, uh, and create a 315-kilometer um 220 miles an hour tsunami. Another research paper that was received in July of last year says that La Palma is one of the youngest of the Canary Islands and historically the most active. The recent activity and unrest on this island observed in 2017 and 18 and the possibility of a catastrophic landslide related to the Cumbre Veje volcano have made it strongly advisable to ensure a realistic knowledge of the background surface deformation on the island. In this paper, there is a drawing of the rift system. This is where the island's being split in half, and I have that drawn out um, a while ago, a couple years ago, when I did some reports about um, the activity that was going on there. I showed some of the uh, old flows that had gone on through here. This one flow, I believe it was 1949 maybe, it flowed all the way down and into the ocean. And you can see that here on Google Earth. Also on Google Earth, you can sort of see the area starting up here to the center of the island, the northern part of this map and then going down and down and down. And this is the area that they worry about a major landslide happening and creating a super size tsunami. Down here was the 1971 eruption. There was also another eruption. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see that, see the different cones. Um, in 1677, you can see the cones there. There's one there and one there. Yeah, several smaller cones there. Let's go up to where it seems like this activity is currently happening. We'll just bring it on up, and there you go. The green markers are all the earthquakes that I measured within, oh, going back not quite 24 hours. And then the yellow ones are from... Um, last year like this one right here that was on December uh, 23rd and then this one here 
that was also on the 23rd. And this other one, uh, let me see if I can get it here. That was um, also the 23rd. That one there, I figured, was a start of the swarm that occurred right up along this rift system. And then it stopped. But I've never seen this many earthquakes. Um, except maybe El Euro, prior to the eruption of El Euro. And um, they had live gas monitors where you could monitor the gas back then. And the earthquakes continued for many months before it finally erupted. And thank God it erupted off the um, southern end of El Euro. But this here is La Palma. So going back to this research paper, you can see this rift system. How the island is splitting apart. You can see the arrow going up to that one location I was talking about. And the direction that it could possibly collapse and fall into the ocean. So these earthquakes are about 10 kilometers in depth. And it says here the island rests on a transitional crust that is overlain by a sedimentary cover with a maximum thickness of 10 kilometers. That's in the eastern zone. And in the western sector, it is 1 kilometer in depth. Volcanic activity in La Palma includes six eruptions, 1585, 1646, 1677, 1712, 1949, and 1971. They worry about water in the side of the mountain and dike injection of magma coming up into the mountain and thus creating a collapse on the side of this island. Tensional stress caused by the continued injection of dikes on both sides of these rift structures and caldera and valleys caused by debris avalanche. And it names the um, different cold, the, the cones and different areas of the eruptions. As well as the possible emerging calderas such as the hypothetical caldera resulting from the failure of the eruption of San Juan Volcano, um, see figure one, after the 1949 eruption. Going back to Google Earth, here is the 1949 caldera that they worry could collapse and cause this whole thing to slide into the ocean. Here they have an image of the island of the movement between 2006 and 2010 um, centimeters per year, all the way up to two centimeters, which was on this side right here. And, oh, I would say the, the lighter color, maybe half a centimeter on this other side. But you can look at it, and I'll give you a link to this paper, and you can read more yourself. The findings of their studies um, says that in conjunction with the results of previous works, Table 1 clearly shows that LOS displacement rates, mean velocity, and displacement time series for coherent pixels have changed over time from 1992 to 2011. You can do a Google search for La Palma landslide. They figure it would take about eight hours for it to reach the United States um, in different sizes. Waves 130 to 160 feet high move at a, at a speed of, here they said, 650 miles an hour. But the other papers said about 250 miles an hour. They figured from other papers that I've looked at in the past that if there was a tsunami, um, it would probably be about 2,000 feet high and wrap around all these adjoining islands. These islands would be devastated if there was a, a landslide on La Palma. And there is a great threat from this magma rising up in the system to create the cracks to have a huge, huge slump. You guys are familiar with slumps, right? That could, could happen there in Hawaii. 
you know, I've talked about moving to Florida. I really enjoyed it there when I went there on my vacation. Um, but to think that if this island decided to have a slump, a landslide, well, Florida would be inundated. <laughs> it's only, what, how many feet above the ocean? The highest point for Florida to be above sea level is 345 feet. feet. The average height of Florida is only 6 feet above sea level. Yeah, the threat of La Palma is uh, the major reason why I probably would never move down there. I loved it. Everyone was friendly. They're not under the mandates where so many of the other states are, you know, requiring um, the shots and wearing masks and things like that. Yeah, maybe this is uh, God's way of telling me, forget it, Mary, you're not moving to Florida. Yeah, I shared my um, vacation videos. Yeah, I sat there till way after dark on the beach and was there to watch the uh, sunrise there at Cocoa Beach and got to watch all the little blue crabs running around. Oh, they were so cute. But the death and the destruction for the United States, not just Florida, you know, all along the United States. Um, yeah. And you wouldn't have long to get out of Dodge. All the roads would be congested. Forget about getting on the, the highway. If you wanted to hop on a plane and get farther inland, um, they would require that you're vaccinated and show proof of that. You know, when that one volcano erupted recently that I covered down there in the Caribbean, uh, they wouldn't even let people into the shelters from the ash unless they proved that they were vaccinated. They didn't care. So, what are your thoughts? Put those comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please be prepared for any type of disaster, earthquake, flood, tornadoes. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.